the Navy's unmanned aircraft program is growing. And a first-of-a-kind collaboration just added more technology to the mix. In June of 2022, crews at Patuxent River Naval Air Station completed the first-ever lab integration event to show how the MQ-25's ground control station will one day operate in the carrier environment. Here's how it all worked. Folks from a government team used Lockheed Martin's ground control station to operate Boeing's hardware-in-the-loop air vehicle for the first time. The government is truly acting as the lead systems integrator. It's just one single message that we're trying to get across. But it's that first message that we have to get across that opens the door to every other message. The lab integration brings multiple teams into the same room to solve problems together. If we're all in the same room, everybody can see what everybody else can see. There is no hiding behind proprietary or anything like that. It would just be, hey, this is what we're seeing, this is what we're doing, and let's, let's make it happen. Let's finish this out. Beyond the integration event, the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division delivered a new mobile control station that will eventually be used to fly the air vehicle. It will give the team the ability to test from numerous locations across the country.